I'm Madhu Sharma and this is Design Mind. Every episode, we teach your mind about design by analysing a website. In this episode of Design Mind, we are looking at Office Line, which sells chairs constructed especially for the female body shape. The website makes great use of animation as a communication tool. This is actually a one-page microsite designed to promote a particular product, so we'll only be looking at the microsite and not the site as a whole. This section introduces the product, the name of the company, and a tagline that explains the product and why it's unique. The section is wonderfully simple. There's no clutter, selling techniques, or any other information, so the message can be clear and bold. One particularly good technique is the use of colour, which is limited to just the logo and the product itself, and so subtly brings them to the forefront of attention. Everything else is in black and white, resulting in a strong professional feel that suits the business audience that Office Lime is aiming at. Scroll down and we see this site's signature, its excellent use of animation. The sequence we just saw brings the page to life, creating impact. It communicates a variety of messages and emotions, such as elegance, wonderment, surprise and playfulness. Some of these messages, such as elegance, are attributes that the site wants to associate with the product. These are anchored by the text, such as the use of elegant in this headline. On the surface, the playful nature of the animation might not seem appropriate for a site selling professional business furniture. However, the rest of this section has a strong business connection thanks to the use of serious business-like fonts, the use of the black and white colour scheme, and the bold clean layout. Hence, the playful animation stops the strong business tone from becoming too dry and so works to enhance the professional feel instead of running counter to it. If we replay the animation, we can see that the yellow chair falls down into place, with a shadow underneath it becoming darker as it lands. I particularly like this as it gives the chair an almost heavenly feel, creating a sense of superiority and so reinforces that the product is unique. This type of two-column layout that is used to display the content is often found in high-class business brochures, and so the animation helps to add a fresh twist to a classic design. Scroll down from the yellow section, and we get this video. It takes an artistic approach to the product, which, while not bad, does seem irrelevant. It would have been better if they'd shown testimonials of people explaining how the chairs have benefited them. Scroll down again and we get more of the site's amazing animation. The animation only lasts for one second, but instantly communicates that the product has been well designed with sophisticated technology. This message is enhanced by the subtle blueprint drawing diagram background. The audience will be left with no doubt that this chair is a technological masterpiece. Scroll down and we get the next animation, which demonstrates the lumbar flex technology off the chair. Again, this is brilliant as it instantly communicates a concept that would be tricky to explain by being limited to just text. Underneath that section, we have this quote, which again explains the unique selling aspect of the product that it is designed for women. Although the image for it has been mostly obscured, it looks like the silhouette of a woman stretching free, presumably because she's no longer weighed down by back pain. It is quite an emotive image. I assume that this quote is from a customer, but it's not clear who said it. This is a shame, as if they identified the person and perhaps showed their photo, it would allow the audience to relate to the quota. Underneath, we have another animation, which again, like the flex support one earlier, is a great way of demonstrating the features of the product, in this case, that it has an adjustable back. The section underneath that goes back to explaining the unique selling features of the product. I don't think it works that well, mainly because it's too wordy. Underneath, we have another falling chair animation, followed by a paragraph that introduces the creator. The first falling animation was brilliant, as it was used to introduce the product. Here, however, it seems redundant, as it doesn't do anything other than being nice to look at. 
The creator section is also a bit weak, mainly because it's too wordy. It would have been better if they'd used lists and pull quotes to break up the text. Before we finish this analysis, I want to look at some weaknesses of the site. The biggest is the lack of a clear call to action. In the footer, there is a link that takes the user to a separate site where they can order the product. However, it's quite easy to miss. It would have been better if they'd used a floating button that appeared on each section. The site does have this floating logo, which is a good way to remind users of the brand as they navigate through the site. Clicking on the logo takes the user back to the top page, which seems a bit redundant as it's only a one-page site, so the user can easily scroll back up. You should have instead placed a Buy Now Call to Action button under the logo to make it easier for users to buy the chairs. Another drawback of the site is that it doesn't have a responsive mobile version. This isn't too much of a problem as the one-page design scales down quite well to mobile, although the site can take quite a long time to load on a mobile device because of all the animations. Despite these minor drawbacks, this site is an excellent example of how animations can enhance web design. The site uses animations for more than just creating visual appeal. The animation functions as a tool to showcase product features and subtly reinforce the brand's values. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Design Mind. A new episode is released every Monday and Thursday. Visit us on the web at designmind.info. You can also find us at YouTube and on iTunes, and we'd love it if you could leave us a review at any of these places. Until next time, happy designing!